Hey CQR fans, welcome once again. I'm Mark. We are at Vernon Motorsports in Vernon, BC, Canada. And we're checking out this 2021 KTM Enduro 690R. Stick around, we'll talk some specs. So this guy is going to be a single cylinder, four stroke, four valve overhead cam. Its displacement is going to be 692 CCMs. Its power is 55 kilowatts or 74 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. The torque is 73.5 nanometers at 6,500 RPM. And its fuel consumption is going to be 4.1 liters to 100 kilometers. So your clutch is going to be an APTC, a slipper clutch that's hydraulically operated. It is a six-speed gearbox and its final drive is a 16 to 46 X-ring 520 chain. Your electronics. There's actually there's actually even a traction control on this, an MTC lean angle sensitive two mode disengageable traction control. And your ABS is a Bosch 9.1 MP. So it's a cornering ABS in off road mode, and it's also disengageable. And the frame on this thing is a chromium molybdenum <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that steel trellis frame and it's powder coated your sub frame is a self-supporting plastic tank your handlebars are aluminum and they're tapered 22 slash 28 millimeter the front suspension is a WP Explore 48 compression with rebound and your rear suspension is a WP Explore with pro lever linkage compression and high and low speed rebound and preload. Your wheelbase is going to be 1506 millimeters. Your uh, wheels in the front are spoked wheels with aluminum rims. They're 1.85 by 21 and 2.50 by 18 for the rear. Your tires on the front and rear are going to be a 90-90-21 for the front and a 140-80-18 for the rear. Your tires for the front are going to be a 90-90-21 inch and your tire for the rear is going to be a 140 80 18 inch your front brake is a brembo two piston floating caliper disc brake at 300 millimeters and your rear brake is going to be a brembo single piston floating caliper at 240 millimeters So your seat height is going to be 929 millimeters. Your ground clearance is going to be 269 millimeters. Your tank capacity is going to be 13 and a half liters with a 1.4 liter reserve. And your dry weight is going to be 148 kilograms. Is there a I really like in the KTM product. I love the colors, I love their styling. Great quality to back them up as well. Yeah. 
Is there a high demand for Wolverine? Is it best selling? Um, yeah, it's a yeah. huge demand for yeah. you to sell out every year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, they're fantastic. What's that? I really like in their KTM product. KTM I love the colors, I love their styling. Great quality to back them up as well. We don't have to push the people coming in there. There never seems to be enough animals. Yeah. Have you driven one since? Well guys, this boat wraps up yet another episode of Canadian Cars Review. So appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for watching. Come and check out Vernon Motorsports in Vernon, BC, Canada. Talk to Dale, talk to Cole, talk to Ryan, talk to Travis. Any one of them are fantastic people to deal with. And let them know that Canadian Cars Review sent you. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you guys on the next one.